took the radiator out because two weeks ago it was starting to get warm. Usually what Top Jimmy does is every two weeks he takes it out and he puts it in like this kiddie pool, but we don't have a kiddie pool. So what I did is I brought our hose and I just hosed it out. What we're gonna do now is body work. So we got all the tools necessary to put the body on. I just love body work every week. But yeah, last week we got pretty, at the lake, we got pretty roughed up on both sides. The right side was probably because of me, um, because I rubbed the wall. The left side here, which I'm gonna probably straighten, I don't know yet, but we had to put a rivet in there at the track. Um, kind of flimsy, pop some rivets out. I gotta put some on this side now. And I put this piece of plastic in our left front. But yeah, he roughed me up in the heat race pretty good. So yeah, let's get to it. going to put in the red da -da. Oh, I think I'm back in there. Careful SpongeBob. Careful SpongeBob. Careful SpongeBob. All right, forget to put the honeycomb in there. Slide the shroud on top. Get some zippy strippies. I need four of them. A one, a two, a three, a four cut this guy off from rubbing the wall so let's get that crack a lack in grind off these edges so it doesn't cut somebody really 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 bad my brother was putting up a wheel I think on that trailer you like lift up the wheel to put it up on there because we were super small. Freaking sliced his hand like bad. Made me almost throw up because I was right next to him. He started bleeding everywhere. Black old sun, won't you come? Wash away the rain, black old sun, won't you come? Well, this is never a good sign on race day. Uh, starting to rain. Look at them clouds. Tree leaves are white on the backside. Old saying is that that means it's gonna rain. And it is, and I am almost done. I am doing the bolt check, and right now I am in the middle of the car doing the bolt check. So I start from the back, work my way up to the front. Never a good sight to see. All right, topped off the right rider. Now we're gonna go ahead and let this John down. I was really excited <laughs> to watch some four tens, and it rained out, and I'm kind of sad. So. Wait, can you do the point five? No. But... <laughs> <laughs> so after the Friday night, um, where we ate out with family uh, at the Banded Brewster in Kingdom City, the next day on Saturday, me and Dad look up tracks that are racing and uh we figured out that um cms which is warrensburg missouri was racing and around one o'clock in the afternoon we decided how about we just go race that so we did and uh we kind of did bad but i still learned a lot with racing on a slick track in a 3,000 pound car instead of a 940 pound car so 
definitely learned a lot, which so you have to have them bad nights to be able to learn and improve, which racing on a very slick track like that definitely made me figure out how the car would handle and uh, it, it just taught me a lot of things. So we kind of start out the race. I'm basically last in the uh, street socks. We kind of start out, have a good race. I'm just kind of waiting to see how things shake out uh, in the start. Usually at Callaway, people kind of bury it into the corner, but it was really slick tonight. And uh, I'm just kind of driving around trying to get the feel for the car in the slicks. I've never raced it in the slick before. I mean, I'm last. I really have nothing to lose. I get pretty sideways a couple times, but that's just trying to figure this thing out. Uh, I'm kind of sticking to the bottom because there's some good moisture that you could put your left side in, especially coming out of the corners. Uh, I was kind of having to woe up quite a bit for some of these guys at times. Here I finally kind of uh, see that the number three is starting to slip up a little bit, and going into this corner I see that he left the lane up, uh, left the lane, lower lane, and he kind of drifts up, and I knew I had a good bike coming off a of two, so I stick my nose under him, and he just hits the gas and just shoves up the track, and I pivot the car and drive out on all that moisture on the bottom and. Uh, now that I kind of have some space, I really try and open it up and see how much I can do. And I eventually catch the cars in front of me. And here I'm trying to run in the middle and try and find a different line because I just couldn't get around this black car in front of me. Um, but eventually he starts to slip up a little bit, like right here. I get a good bite coming off of turn two. Try and stick my nose under him, but didn't have enough. He still he goes in too hard, slides up because he knew he messed up in turn two, so he went in harder trying to kind of block, but it messed him up. So then I stick my nose under him and get the pass. And then here I just try and continue to open it up and be consistent, but I just stayed in this spot, so that's how the race ended.